Hello everyone, in this video I'll be giving a review of Dragon's Dogma 2. Now this game came out a week ago and I've been playing it a bunch and I just wanted to talk about it because there's a lot of things that I think are fun about this game. There's also some things that I think it could have done a lot better. Now I think the elephant in the room here is the performance of Dragon's Dogma 2. And I'm not even sure if this video will record because a lot of the times when I'm recording OBS crashes because this game is just taking up all the CPU and GPU, even if I said OBS 2 priority. Now, there's issues with the frame rates in city, so I'm going to leave the city here. We're averaging around 20 to 30 frames per second in town. I'm running a NVIDIA G RTX 3060 Ti. And I got a 12th gen Intel uh, i7 processor. And it struggles for sure like that's just putting it softly now out in the country we get we're getting upwards of 40 frames here still doesn't feel amazing and i must say this is on low settings so it's nothing groundbreaking i've seen this game in a lot higher uh settings it all looks amazing i really wish that the performance worked a lot better on it but maybe in some time we will get better performance now one thing oh we're gonna talk to here one thing that was mentioned by um the creator of this game was that there's no fast travel because the travel is supposed to be fun. Now, I've seen a lot of people talking about this. The travel is, it is fun. Yeah, it is fun. The first few times. So I've ran this road from Vermin there many times now, 10 plus times, probably 20s now. And I've seen the same path many times. And that's typically how the travel goes in this game. We go from place to place. That's pretty frequently, like we visit often. Now, what's cool is the combat, but... Another, I guess, point to be made with the combat is that a lot of these enemies we see multiple times. Now, we do get some cool attacks. Unfortunately, he got knocked out there. I like this one where you, like, bat them off into the distance. I think that's a really cool attack. So some of the attacks are really flashy and fun to use, which I think is great. But the enemy variety is not really there. We fight the same things over and over and over again. And while it was cool the first few times, it's annoying to just fight these same little goblin guys repetitively. We just had that bull disappear there. This is a cool attack. I love doing this, sending them off flying like that. Like, I think that part of the game is fantastic. Like, some of these attacks are very flashy. This is the Mystic Spear Hand vocation or class. It's a lot of fun to use. I think that this is one of the, my favorites in the game. It combines magic and combat together. But... A lot of these enemies, we fight the same way every single time. Like, these harpies here that put people to sleep, we I've, I've fought these hundreds of times. They look the same every single time. The th like, there's only a handful of different enemies, and the large enemies, like the cyclops and the trolls, yes, they're cool, like, and they're, they're fun to fight. Like, I must say, they are a lot of fun to fight them, but again, we're seeing them repetitively. There's these lizards that pop up all the time. There's only about, like, it feels like 10 common enemies that pop up at any given moment, they always look the same. There's no variation between them. They might have a slight color change, but very, very slight. Like, we're talking, like, a dull brown to a dull green. Um, so, yeah, like, this campfire I've been to hundreds of times. <laughs> not hundreds, but I've been to this campfire a bunch of times. I've crossed this bridge a bunch of times. And here's the thieves that we got to fight. So, there's a lot of similar stuff that just gets really repetitive. Um, it is fun, but we're having pretty rough performance here. And this is just a very basic spot. So I, I don't, I have no idea what is going on with this game. Maybe the performance will get better over time when they add some patches to it. But we do go to the same spots over and over and over again. And it is a bit repetitive. So uh, that's one of my biggest complaints about this uh, alongside the frame rate drops. Now, I must say that exploring the world is beautiful. Like, I think that this is a very gorgeous place. It's cool that you can see, like, off in the distance, there's vermin and as you go up into the mountains in different areas, you can look down and see vermin still, which I love that in video games when there's like a very long draw distance. But even right now, we're only getting 40 frames per second. Like sometimes we'll get 60, very rarely. But even for the purpose of this video, it's just been stuck at 30. Like I get there's a lot of enemies here, but it's a little bit rough on the performance side of things at a lot of times. Anytime that there's enemies or really any type of npc going on it just gets really slow so that's a big complaint from me for dragon's dogma 2 one thing i really do like about this game is how the classes all kind of work together like there is eight main classes uh that you can get all right uh, there's 10 main classes four of them are unique to your player character only 
six of them that your pawns can use. So the pawn system, I think, is one that I need to highlight. But this is this was in Dragon's Dogma 1. So right here, I got a fighter here. This is kind of like my tank. I got a sorcerer, which is a damage dealer doing like the blizzard here, which completely wipes it out. And then I got my healer slash buffer, which is a mage. And it's cool to have a different party composition. I wish you could equip more of the classes to the pawns. They are only allowed to have the fighter, the warrior, sorcerer, mage, and then the thief and the archer. So I wish that they would get some of the unique classes to your player character, but I kind of understand why they don't at the same time. But uh, I, I think that that's a really big highlight for this game is how well the classes all play off each other. You do feel like you have to have a good optimized loadout. You can't just run all through with like four fighters because then you don't have any healing. You pretty much always have to have a mage with you. Otherwise, you're going to be getting hurt as there's no real easy way to heal your party members. You can pause the menu and eat food, but that's... Who likes to do that? It's not that much fun. So there are a lot of points to this game that are very well optimized. And there's a lot that's just not optimized whatsoever. Uh, another thing that I think works really well is how the quests are all about exploration. Like you're... Oh, I'll show. I'll pull up the map here in a second once we take this guy out. But um, I guess I can do that right now. This is our quest lot guide. It gives you a vague area where you have to go, but then you have to go and find it yourself. So I think that works really nice. Like there's the map itself. You can go around traveling and exploring. And I've spent a lot of time just exploring the map and getting comfortable with it because it's got a really nice vibe to it. It's very detailed outside of the creatures that you fight. Now, one thing, I played the original Dragon's Dogma you are. often, and uh, there's more boss fights and enemies in that game there, than there are in this game. So that's one thing that I think they needed to maybe improve on. And I, I see that they're talking about DLC for this game, so they're, Capcom's reaching out to people in regards to what we'd like to see in DLC. I don't know, I feel like there should have been more in the base game and better performance, and then this game would be a lot better. I'll get to my review out of 10 in just a second. Uh, I do think that the world is quite beautiful. Even though I have to run it on low, this game still looked really nice. A lot of the landmarks I've been to a few times now, but it's cool just to see how the world interconnects to each other. And just the freedom that you have in combat is really nice. You can choose a variety of different skills. There's a bunch of different equipment that you can choose from. There's a lot of customization that you can do to your characters and your, your team's makeup. But I feel like there's just something lacking from it that would, you know, push it over the edge to make it really great. This game does give me similar vibes to Skyrim the first time I ever played Skyrim. So if you're a fan of Skyrim, you'll probably like this game too. But uh, yeah, I think that there are some very, very big things that are holding it back. Namely the performance and the lack of variety in the enemies that you fight. So on a scale of 1 to 10, this is my first week of playing Dragon's Dawn. I played it a bunch. On a scale of 110, I would give Dragon's Dogma a 7.5 to an 8 out of 10. The highs are pretty high. Like, I have a lot of fun playing this game. But there's a lot of frustrations and performance issues that I just wish weren't there. So, hopefully with time, they'll patch this and make it perform a bit better on PC. But, yeah, that's my review of Dragon's Dogma 2. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.